Hello everybody, AJ Ryzik here, and in today's video tutorial, I am going to show you how to install the Budgie Desktop on Ubuntu. So let me drag over the article that I'm looking at from Noob's Lab. And if you're not familiar with the Budgie Desktop, let me zoom out this picture, give you an idea of what uh, what it is. It's fairly minimal, um, integrates very nicely with the with the GNOME stack. Uh, it is the default desktop environment for uh, the Solus project. So um, let's just get right to it and get this installed. And we're pulling this down from a PPA. Now this is going to work on, at least as of right now, this works on Ubuntu 15.10 and 16.04. So if you're running the 16.04 beta, you can you can run it there. Um, so let's go, and I'm just going to copy and paste right from that um, right from that article at Noob's Lab. So we're going to add this repo. And we will do an update. Now in the Noobs Lab article, it also tells that you can run this on Ubuntu 14.04. But I looked at the PPA that they're using, and that PPA is seriously outdated. I mean, it's uh, it hasn't been updated in something like two years or so. So I would not uh, I would not use that. This uh, this PPA, however, is using uh, I think it was updated. Um, maybe a month ago so it's uh, maybe not even that long ago so it it's got uh, the most recent version of the budgie desktop on it so anyway let's go in so we're going to do sudo app get install budgie desktop enter and yes we want to do this and boom just sit back let it do its thing so after all this installs we are going to need to log out and then log back in with the new desktop environment. Probably what I'll do, I'll just do a simple reboot. Uh, so when you log back in, you know, you're going to need to uh, select which desktop environment you want to log in with. So, you know, don't just go, you know, your default uh, method or whatever, just because you're, you're going to end up, you know, right back where we're at right now. Okay, so we are back. We have installed Budgie, and this is essentially the default look that we've got. Uh, we've got our menu over here. It is searchable, so like let's say I was looking for, I don't know, um, Firefox. I can just start typing it in, and boom, it'll find it for you. And uh, it is you can open it with the Windows or Super key. So I like that. Then we got our little, you know, all of our all of our running windows are going to be listed here. And then over on this side, we've got it lists our time and date and then uh, tray icons. And if you click here, it'll open up, and we can do a little work on the panel if we want to add some applets. We also have access to our calendar here. We have access to. Um, you know, our headphone, our headphone output, you know, all of our input output for audio, that sort of thing. And then if you come up to notifications, it'll list all your notifications over here. The little gear icon over here will let you open up the budgie settings. Oh, here's the general settings. So some of these are still being probably carried over from, you know, running Ubuntu Unity. So I can, let's go and we'll change to the arc theme and uh, it looks like the Suru uh, yeah those those icons there so we've got that done we go and play around with our panel here uh, and as you can see it lists all of the uh, all of the applets I have installed here you can go and add some applets if you like so you can go and click add an applet whatever it is that you want to add I don't really want to do that. What I would like to do, though, 
and you can see you can move the position around, resize it, shadows, all that kind of thing. Let's go and we could go with a bottle panel. That's, you know, not really my thing, but I know that there's a lot of people that prefer having the panel on the bottom. You could go and do something like that. You can also go and add a second panel so that you've got, uh, you know, much like uh, the old, uh, um, uh, I guess you want to call it GNOME Classic. You could do something like that if you like. We'll go and move the panel back up to the top. But I played around with it for a few minutes. All my apps still seem to work and everything. Of course, you know, if, you know, uh, it's still using the default Ubuntu wallpaper. So, you know, if you want to go and change that and, and do something that's a little more you, go ahead and do that. Um, but essentially, as far as doing the installation, that is it. Things seem to be working just fine. Um, so, uh, you know, why don't you give it a try if you're interested in Budgie, a very simple and easy to use desktop environment. Uh, and having said that, that about finishes us up here. As always, leave comments, questions, all that kind of stuff down below, and I will try to get to it as soon as possible. And as always, I hope to see you all on my next video. Thanks a lot.